They're amazing birds. We see them flying around here all the time. Claire England has enjoyed watching this bald eagle's nest for years. It's near her home on the University of British Columbia's Vancouver campus. When the eagles are hatching chicks, they need to have a quiet environment to do that. So when she found out about the school's plans for the nest, with construction about to start across the street, she was shocked. There's lots of areas around the campus that can and will be developed for housing and other buildings. So it's not as though it's this area or nowhere. Polygon Homes is supposed to get started on a mixed condo and apartment building later this year. It's decisions like this that ultimately add up and over a long period of time can significantly reduce the population of a species. UBC has built an artificial alternate nest nearby for the eagles. In a statement on the UBC campus and community planning site, it says they'll be forced out of their existing nest when it's covered with a custom-made cone. England and her neighbors have started a petition which had more than 16,000 signatures on Monday afternoon, calling on UBC to scrap the coning plan and push for the development to be built further away from the nest. We're absolutely not against the housing development at all. It, that can carry on. It just needs to respect the guidelines that are in place to protect the biodiversity that's here. Yes, we can make them this artificial nest nearby, but if they don't take that, and they can't return, we're going to see this, you know, this pair leave the area. Campus and Community Planning says it worked with wildlife conservation experts to develop this plan, and it follows provincial guidelines for raptor conservation. It says the current nest won't be coned until after the current eaglets leave. Daw says this year is the first she spotted baby eagles at the nest. This was after four years of construction noises. Uh, they had no success, and then after that construction noise stopped, they had success with the babies. England hopes as the petition gains steam, the school and the developer will change tactics. They talk about sustainable develop being, development being one of their main aims. So it seems that they should be able to do that in their own backyard on their own campus, as well as talking about it in press releases. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News. This story came to us from a City News viewer. If you have a story idea you'd like to share, get in touch by email, give us a call, fill out the Contact Us form on our website, or send us a message on Twitter and we'll look into it.